Hello, welcome to the November 15th City Council meeting. Uh, Dr. Coverly, will you give us the invitation? Kevin Frey, my father during the Thanksgiving season, we thank you for your love, your mercy, your goodness to each of us. Lord, we thank you for good government. We ask your blessings on our city leaders. Help them to make wise decisions for the city of Dunbar. And we pray for the peace, safety, and prosperity for our citizens of Dunbar. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Chris, will you send the uh, pledge of allegiance? Pledge of allegiance to the flag. Of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mark Faulkner couldn't be here tonight, so I'll do the roll call. Steve Arn here. Mike Scipio here. Doug Fleshman here. Bobby Yeager here. Greg Wolf here. Jim Hughes here. Sharon Hayne here. Linda Boggs. I'm here. Having a quorum present, I now uh, open the city council meeting for November 15th. <laughs> Next item on the agenda is presentation of a couple of awards here that should have been done in November in May. Uh, back in May during the hundred year celebration, we had three of the oldest people in town, and I want to take a minute publicly to let them know I apologize for taking so long. It has been a while and I just got busy and it has slipped my mind, but we are going to recognize two of the three tonight. One of them couldn't make it. So Miss Jack, if you would come forward, I'll meet you down there. First of all, here's one of the coins we gave away during the 100 year or sold during this 100 year celebration. It's got the bulldog on the front. Of course, I had to keep up with the bulldog tradition. And on the back, it talks about where it has the 100th year from 1921 to 2021. And then I have a, a uh, stand here that says recognition award, Bay Jack, for one of the oldest or one of the city of Dunbar's oldest living residents at the Dunbar's 100th year celebration, May 15th, 2021, and it's by me. Dunbar, nine, three years. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So I got you that there. And we appreciate it. If there's anything you'd like to say. Yeah, I'm, I really, like I say, I moved to Dunbar when I was four years old. Hmm. And, um, so I've been here 93 years in the city of Dunbar. My dad was a councilman, J.C. Kessel, for several years of the city. He was quite active in work. And I've taught school here in the city of Dunbar. So it's been a great place for me. You to be able to take that and put it on your mantle or something yeah. at the house. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Joyce, would you rather me come back there? Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Miss Joyce has been around no more for a while, and she's 103 still. 103. Wow. So, as the, this this plaque here that I have got for it is presented to the oldest living resident that we could find in the city of Dunbar. I got you a coin, and again, it's with the city of Dunbar, and it's got the recognition of the 100th year celebration on the back. Oh, that's wonderful. And then the recognition award presented to Savoia Joyce, city of Dunbar's oldest living resident at the city of Dunbar's 100th year celebration on May 15th. Oh, thank you so much. enjoy this and put it up where everybody can see it. Um, the mayor and city officials, I thank God that Dunbar is a city where everybody is somebody. 
Thank you. And I feel highly honored, even though I've waited a long time. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right. Thank you all for coming again. I appreciate it. Next item on the agenda is the approval of the minutes for the November 1st, 2021. Just clarify, we approve the minutes. That is great. November 1st, 2021, council meeting. Okay, I have a motion on the floor to approve the minutes as written from the November 1st, 2021 meeting by Dr. Fleshman, seconded by Mike Scipio. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed? The ayes have. Next item on the agenda is the invoices submitted for payment of $234,882. I have a motion on the floor to submit the invoices for payment of $234,882 by Mark Skibia, second by Linda Ball. Is there any discussion? All those in favor say aye. aye. All those opposed? The ayes have. Next item on the agenda is the discussion on approval to purchase the 2022 Peterbilt 337 20 yard Loadmaster Legacy 3 from the Trash Trucks Online for $164,900 out of the CARES Act. Thank you. I have a motion on the floor by Mark Skibio, seconded by Bobby Yeager, to approve to purchase a 2022 Peterbilt 337 20 yard Loadmaster Legacy from the Trash Trucks Online for $164,900. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed? The ayes have. The next item on the agenda is approval for us to accept bids for the repairs on Oak Street. Now, it's Hugh. Hugh, Hugh, Hugh and I think it was went up there to look at the Oak Street. We had already approved eight thousand dollars to to fix it. When they got into the looking at everything, the pipes, water pipes, gas lines, everything run underneath the street up there. So. We're looking at having to have somebody contracted to do that instead of the city. Not only that, it was being used like that. Um, there's a fiber optic cable that lives right down the middle of the road. It's about a foot deep, so you can't excavate anything. It's kind of flat. You mean road glass you build it? Yes. Well, the other alternative is to just give them a pop off of them, let them do some dirt work to it, and take it, which is going to be better than running a home for 145 feet in concrete. If we get in there for the base in properly, it should last in 15 years. Without being in there, provide an adequate depth of water. So you say that's good or it? You mean? Not us. We, can't, we cannot do that. Right, right. Okay. I was all ready to go to make something. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. Yes. We have a motion on the floor by Steve Burns, second by Bobby Yeager, to accept the or to be able to accept bids for the repairs on Oak Street. Is there any more discussion? All those in favor, say aye. Aye. All those opposed. Guys have. Next item on the agenda is the same thing except for the Westmoreland Road. It just needs overlaid though, right? Yes, we set that up when we did the concrete part of the work up there. We left a rough surface. <coughs> All they've got to do is come over and put a 
Let's spin base force on and then wear and force on. Yeah, we yeah, went it ain't gonna move again. We put six inches of concrete in there. Half we put how many tons of rock? 30 tons of rock or something. It was pumping real bad in that place. I'm gonna be able to get that done this year. We're open, but it's it. I mean, I put like copper on the interstate. Oh, yeah. Barbersville. Well, that, that new, the new plant is, the asphalt's a lot hotter when they come out of this one down here across the night. So they can run a little later in the year if they want to. It just depends on when they shut the plant. And if they want to let you have it. So that's all we need, though, is just a flat top. Right. Okay. And it's too big for the guys to rush. Yeah, it's all good. Right. So, do I have a motion? So move. Second. Okay. I have a motion on the floor by Mike Stibio, second by Steve Arnott, to accept the bids for the repairs of the Westmoreland Road. Any more discussion? All those in favor? So, uh, aye. Uh, all those opposed? The ayes have. <clears throat> I believe the next item on the agenda has been tabled yeah. for now uh, so that we can get everything in line with that. We'll get next item on the agenda is the approval to accept demolition bids for houses that need to be torn down at <coughs> 105 10th Street, 1221 Moore Avenue, and the Wedding Chapel up on 6th Street. 156. I'd like to make a motion that we approve the demolition of these three properties by G and G Construction Company. Second. Uh -huh. Second. What was that total price? Fifty four. Fifty seven thirty five five thirty for just the church or all of them. Fifty fifty three fifty three seven ninety eight. Fifty three seven ninety eight. Yeah. All right, we have a motion on the floor by Mark Scipio, seconded by Greg Wolf, to accept the bids from G and G to tear down the houses on the three addresses. Anybody have any questions or comments? All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? The ayes have it. Next item on the agenda is the discussion of the public works. Well, all hourly employees besides the police and fire. Hourly, no elected officials, no hourly employees. Hourly employees. Uh, I have it. Probably about 25 to 30. Uh, that's not right. There's about 20 in the public works department alone. Then you've got all the. Oh, and seven. Four, five parts here. Oh, yeah. uh, well, downstairs. Thank you. So, I've got 18 in public works, there's three at the rec center. And downstairs. Six, six upstairs. Three downstairs. Order <coughs> raised for everybody except for the seven we talked about. Seven again. Quarter plus. Correct. Oh, well, this says discussion with the actual municipality. We just talked about it. We've already talked about it. We brought it up in five years. I'm 
And the reason we're doing this is that there's employees that are grossly underpaid at the public works department. And so we're, we're trying to bring them up to somewhere close to what they need to be. That's seven. Sure. Some of our employees across the hall considered our Yes. They're on this. I've got three downstairs. Six on this board. Six on this board. Does that include space? And then uh, 18, 17 or 18 is public works, three to uh, rec department. Yeah. All right, so I have a motion on the floor for the next video to say goodbye with the ball. We saw those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed? The ayes have it. All right, so any of y'all have any questions for any of the call? Oh, the tax sale tomorrow. No, I'll make motion. Will we add an emergency item to the our agenda, the council agenda? I second. Uh, motion on the floor by Doug Fleshman, seconded by Mike Skippia to add the emergency item on the agenda. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed? The ayes have it. And the reason is, is to let Hugh Leishman buy back taxes that is owed on property in the city of Delmar that we have acquired, correct? We'll acquire. Or we'll, we'll acquire after the tax. Buy right. property for back taxes. Right, okay. I knew it was something like that. And with that said, he'll go up tomorrow and purchase these. If, if approved by council, he'll go up and approve these six pieces of property. Uh, they have 18 months to redeem them. If they don't redeem them in 18 months, they become our property. Some of them are as low as $500. And one of them free. So these are properties that we have. They're vacant now, but all of them, I think, are vacant now. Mm -hmm. And it's more properties that we can work on getting tore down. We can't do anything for 18 months the way it is. So, it, and if they redeem them, we get a 12% return on our money. So there's no other banks paying that right now. Yeah. Yeah. So. And I didn't add the amount, the amount that he would. He requests us ten thousand dollars. Up to what was the total amount on all the properties? Eighty five something, but I don't know if there's any additional fee. I've never done this before. Five, six thousand, but almost ten. Ten thousand. And we can take that out of the demolition fund. <coughs> you know, you're going up to bid on him, Hugh. Uh, we don't, don't have to bid. I don't think we have to bid. I think I can just go up and buy it. We pay exactly what they want. Oh, that's that new bill. Yes, okay. that's the part we've been working on with the uh, land, land, land reuse agency. So he can go up there and you can purchase them under that. He doesn't have to bid. He's just going to buy it. Do not put the money. He gets first. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. right. Put them out with him. He walks in there and says, I want these six. Before the sale. Yeah. And they're actually up there currently selling right now. 
Yeah, they start the district one and work their way through. So we shouldn't be up until tomorrow afternoon for because we're district twenty six. Uh, but I want to go up there tomorrow morning and see what, what we need to do. I, I've never done it, so I'm I'm gonna have to feel my way through it. Basically. This will keep it out of the out of state people that don't yeah. care about our property. They just want that cash. They hope that people redeem them and then they get stuck with them. And we get stuck with the houses that's been laying around for three and four years without anything being done. Well, and several, there's a couple that are, well, I know of one that's not condemnable right at the moment, but part there's, there's problems with one of the outbuildings, the tree fell on is hazardous, but uh, the other ones are condemnable. So if they do want to redeem them, I'm going to tell them if you redeem them, you've got 90 days to get them fixed up or tear them down. It's your choice. But if they're even available or if they even pass the 50% rule, they might just be straight tear down. So I have a motion on the floor by Mike, Doug Fleshman, segment by Mike Scipio to spend up to $10,000 to buy six properties on the tax sale uh, to be held for 18 months at the end of 18 months if they're redeemed or redeemed if they're not then we're going to tear them down or do what we want to with the property any other discussion all those in favor say aye aye, aye. all those opposed yes all right does any of you all have any questions for the department heads um probably never much come start down here did uh, did we lose some Frank now the Parks Recreation or Bill and me? Not yet. He did has he put leave? his paperwork in to retire. Uh, I'm not sure of the exact date, but I think he's already got another job. Lined up. Yeah. 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 In the end of January, I believe. Is that yeah, when his last thing is? You got anything up to fill him Bill's place yet? Well, as of the winter time, sometimes that that we run that seems like. Two of them were getting transferred to the city garage during the winter. I don't need four people up there all winter long. So two of them are going to get transferred to the city garage until spring. What four did we have that? Until March. Well, we don't now. <laughs> the two won't be transferred. Uh, <laughs> that leaves you with Bob in the uh, uh, spring, right? <clears throat> JW's part time, yes. We are helping keep the running in the evening times. So the house in West Warren has been forced to be saying top fire, how bad is burning up? We believe enough. <laughs> we believe it's gonna to be total though. Does that mean it's coming on the ground? I, I haven't been in it yet. I'm going up in the morning. I talked to the owner and she had no permission to go in. So <coughs> it's, it's the pretty burnt. Yeah. And so I just got it. So now yeah, this thing was in poor shape to start with the fire and they added to it so hopefully it's uh not so yeah i was saying i know we're bidding on oak street because it's going to have to be concrete and stuff mm -hmm. right no we're going to asphalt it. everybody asphalt that we can't the 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 way the pipes run up there there's what did you say it was 400 pair of tongue cable 200 pair of tongue cable and gas water sewer, sewer line they're all real water. shallow we can't, and the reason the drainage is set up the way it is for that uh, culvert going under the road is the pipes are so shallow, they couldn't even put an inlet in to come out a 24 inch inlet to go under it. They just had basically laid on top of it. So we're, we're kind of stuck where we're at right there because of the utility work that's back. Are we still stuck with one Stevens Road. We didn't, we didn't have anybody to bid on it all bottom half right. that. I have not got to that. I've been doing so many other things. I've not got it back in the paper yet. It'll, it'll go nice to get that on. Yeah, it'll, it'll be on its way. Uh, if not, we're about just sit on salt if everyone salt yourselves again. With that said, I had 50 more tons delivered today. We're still in. There we go. So we should be maxed out unless something else happens. That's 125 tons we've got right now. In our building, and it doesn't even still look like there's much there. Anybody have anything? I got one question. Just <laughs> yes. Um, this okay. This is a truck, obviously, that is on its way. Yes. Um. So you'll know you're talking about a couple thousand dollars more for 
partners and whatnot, you'll know what you're going to need for the second truck you want to buy, right? Yes, and the reason there's a difference, this truck here is just one engine replacing the engine. Okay. The, the truck that will be identical to this will be combining a rescue truck and an engine. Okay. And until we have it and can try to figure out how to mount things in there. Okay. But but having this truck will give us, will give the department plenty of time to figure that out. Yeah. So Prior this one is not going to be equipped just like the second one, right? Yeah. And that's way I understand this one's going to be equipped a little differently. This one's going to be equipped as a rescue engine. I'm sorry, the one, that's, the one for the city, it will be a rescue engine. This is going to be just primarily an engine. Okay. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> trying to take uh, rescue rope, extrication tools, all the prying bars and things like that. And we can, they make different brackets and different things that go in there and swing out and swing in. And, and we, look, we went over and looked at South Charleston's trucks that did the same thing. Combining rescue and engine. So we've looked at the design, but we haven't been able to tell the manufacturer, okay, this is exactly what we need, and we won't until we get it, because um, we can't measure, we can't take our stuff and put it in there. So that's why I thought it'd be a good idea if you guys would budget a couple thousand dollars just for unforeseen things like that. How's our dog situation doing with our canine? One's still in training and one is killing. He wants to hit the road. He's pretty much he's he made one stop and I think it had a the one stop was 116 grams of meth. Uh, large thing of marijuana, mushrooms, bunch of several arrests, but that was off of the, the first day that he was here. <clears throat> so he's operating full time every day with a police officer now. No, no he's he's by himself. Himself. Right. Huh? He is turned loose. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Are they like no, he's no officer, all yeah just in training. Okay. So he's already gone, he's, he's doing good now. Her other dog were we on him. It's in, he's still in training. I but it's been on him. I'll find out tomorrow. Yeah. Training that training day tomorrow. But she she had broken a tooth and they got they got it looked at uh, which is a common occurrence uh, but she seemed to be every time i've watched her work she's doing just as good as far as staff wise we're up to what 15 police officers now so we got two more to go yeah. right it's, who's getting i know you're more? working on apparently Don't know yet. two now still working that you're really working on two more of yeah. them and we could already police officer we, 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 we talked to a couple. Yeah. That's one. That's good. Yeah. Man. Step right here. Every day. We do or the new one. The other one. I can't say why. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll go see that. Do <laughs> <laughs> you have a canine in Christmas Prairie? Yes. There will be a canine in the Christmas Prairie. Yes. And if we get this new truck in time, it'll be in the Christmas parade. No, he's going to ride in the car. We put the new one in the rest. Hey, Maybe on white shiny. So is there anybody else? Well, I'm going to be on the road for the next three days. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, it was almost 49, set 47, 49 participants either marching and or vehicles of pulling a trailer with a truck. And so we expect even more than that from them. And so if you want to know if anyone, please give me a call. Stacy's typing up the news release because our parade wasn't listed in the news today. Yeah. So if she's putting it on the news, uh, channel eight didn't have ours on there. They had Charleston, South Charleston, Barbersville. <laughs> but they are going to have it on there. I do know that the uh, public works or the uh, rec center has been working on a surprise. Bingo is working on one. Uh, neighborhood Watch is working on one. So there's going to be a lot on there this year. Charleston put out today that they couldn't take any more than 100 units. 
And the blood will not look like the, the ones we have traditionally seen in years past. We did a lot of renovations to it, and uh, this will be pleasantly surprised. And the veterans' flags are coming down this week, and the uh, Christmas lights and Christmas flags are going up this week on Dunbar and Avenue and 10th Street. We need uh, Tuesday and Wednesday to be nice. You can get your black top. It's the last one that's on. They already know. Done. The ones in the alley and the left yeah, and the 23rd railroad crossing. Done. Good. How, how did the soccer did tournament go this weekend? It was busy. Uh, I'm not sure. I didn't. Every time I went by there, it was packed. It was very and busy. They were down there all weekend. I was there all weekend as a participant. I was. I was. Yeah. But it, it was busy, and I was. I was in the rounds and all the time. And everybody seemed to enjoy. I mean, everybody that I could talk to, I sent this way for stuff. But I mean, it was. It was tight. Anybody? Any of you all have anything else that needs to go over? Jesse, you have anything else? Uh, on the radio too, uh, on the Christmas parade, on the, the week of the Christmas parade starting on Monday through Thursday, it will be on the uh, 102.7 to 100. As well as also being in the pulse starting on maybe Wednesday up until on the action day. We start the nighttime parade with all the lights and stuff you see. Everybody's oh, yeah. having a coffee now. Yeah. Yep, no more. I'd like to thank all the park kids for the job they've done so far this year, <clears throat> and especially the police chief, because I think he's went over the above board on the situation that was going on with the dope dealers. <laughs> and we haven't seen, I haven't been able to talk about a lot of the stuff that's happening or getting ready to happen. But I've noticed a lot of the traffic has slowed down. So that's a big plus. But anyway. And thank all the participation please to you for the Mr. Mayor, can we go to the order? If there's no other city business, I'll move to adjourn. <laughs> 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 Bobby's there. Bobby's there.